Hey guys, welcome back. <clears throat> I'm gonna be sanding down both back doors today and we're gonna put them in uh, black satin paint just like we did with the cabinet. So they'll match the cabinet. Um, not gonna be a real long video. I'm gonna hit these with 180 grit with a DA sander and then 320 grit. So let's, I'm gonna show you what this looks like before I sand and we'll see how much of this we can get out. Okay, you see all that? See how this is just rough uh, particle board? So I'm gonna go ahead and sand this off camera with 180 and then we'll look at it because 320 is really not gonna make much of a difference. So you see how rough this is. Let's see, I put four heavy coats of primer on it. So let's see how this turns out. Okay, <clears throat> this is knocked down. You can look at how, how it got rid of just about 99% of everything. Broke through a couple little spots. I'm not gonna touch those up. I'm not gonna hit them with primer. I'm just gonna put the satin black paint. It'll be fine. It's the back door. But uh, what a difference four coats of primer makes as far as smoothing this stuff out. And I changed my bag today in my vacuum system. And I forgot how good this thing actually works with the new bag. The old bag's over here. You can see it's just completely filled with dust. So once it gets that filled, it uh, doesn't wanna work as good. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the other one sanded down with 180, come back and I'm gonna 320 both of these down. And then we're gonna get them in the spray booth, put a couple coats of uh, satin black on it and they will be done. Okay, spray booth is warming up. Those parts are blown off. I still need to degrease them real quick. Um, this is the paint I use the hot rod flat single stage from summit racing this one is actually satin finish they sell it in matte satin and flat and then gloss um i'm actually going to put a mixing paddle set up onto these this because i use so much of this anymore that it's going to be easier for me to just have one of these on so every time i empty the can i can get a new can the nice thing is i can pour out of it which makes it a lot easier so i'm just going to go ahead and convert this to one of these because once this gallon's gone, I'm gonna be putting another gallon on it anyways. So I'm gonna get this mixed up, get the spray booth warmed up, and then we can uh, wipe it down. Today we're gonna use the wax and grease remover from uh, Amazon. So yeah, this just clips onto the can and it keeps it from drying out because there's a rubber seal in there. And then I just so you stick it in this machine right here. And this right here spins. So this machine just spins it. So we'll let that stir up for 10 minutes. And then uh, let me uh, let this warm up for a couple minutes and we'll wipe down the parts. Okay, let's get these parts uh, wiped down. I got three lights out on the ceiling. Those LED can lights work really well but I think the heat kills the controller boxes. So every so often I gotta change a couple controller boxes. Which sucks. The ball never goes bad, it's the boxes. Okay, 
okay this is what i use from amazon if you guys want to use this stuff instead of the window cleaner so i recommend i recommend this for almost everybody because nobody's gonna be doing enough painting to buy a 45 dollar gallon of prep all so i definitely still recommend the sprayway i use this because it's a little bit quicker to wipe down and i already have it so i just use it but i did make the video or two using this stuff so you can see that it does work so now i'm going to get ready to mix up my black paint so give me a minute let that stir for another couple minutes okay this is a four to one mix four paints of black four parts of black paint one part hardener and then 10 to 15 percent reducer now these are smaller parts so i'm going to get around them really quick so i'm using a medium hardener and a medium reducer if i'm painting a whole car i use slow hardener and slow reducer um, if it's cold and you're doing it in your garage you can get fast so a fast hardener and a fast reducer so on these cups there's a four to one to one mark we're going to take it all the way up to the four why is that leaking Awesome, my seal's not on all the way. Well, I'll have to fix that after. Never had that happen. You know what, there might be crust on the edge of the can from, uh, because I was pouring it out of this can before, probably what it is. Okay, so we have four parts paint. Now we're gonna go to the number four for the hardener. And I'm not going to tack cloth off these parts. I'm not worried about it. They should be clean enough. Then I'm going to add a 15% reducer. Then we're going to go out there and put two coats on, and that should be all I need. Good, two good heavy coats. First coat of hair lighter than the second coat. But we can put it on pretty thick because it's just laying flat. We don't have to worry about running it. My strainer is in my lid. I don't have to worry about straining the paint going into the cup. Okay, get my respirator. Let's go get these painted.
let that set for about 10 minutes and then we'll put the last coat on then I'm going to dry them because I have to paint up the car bumper today so I got to get that stuff dry so I'm going to clean up my mess here now, the more I'm thinking about it, I don't think I'm going to mess with this lid right now until I get another gallon of paint. Because I don't think that lid's going to fix itself. I think the edge of the can has crust all over it from me pouring it out regularly. So that seal's probably just not making a good contact with the can. So, all right, I'll be back in a few. Paint, put the blast coat on. Fifteen minutes, and then we'll take a look at it. Um, with this satin paint and the and uh, the flat and the matte finish ones, you have to make sure you do at least a fifty percent overlap when you're spraying it. Because if you don't, um, you'll get stripes in your paint job when it's dry. So yeah, for some reason this satin paint does that, so you got to be a little careful with it. So all right, I'm gonna let this dry for a few, and then I'll be back. Okay, it's been about 10 minutes. It's starting to dull up a little bit, which is good. It's not perfect, but it doesn't look bad. More of this will look better once it dolls up a little bit more. But at least it still has that original look of being a particle board back door. And that's what I want. I want it to look like it should. So, all right, that's going to end this video. Just a quick video on sanding and painting the back doors. Um, this one is drying a little quicker than that one because I put extra paint on that one just to smooth out those last couple dimples. But on one of the next videos you'll get to see it dried up. Uh, but you can see how this is not as shiny as this one. So, alright, I think that's going to wrap it up. Um, next video will probably be uh, working on the pole position again. Um, I have that Stargate cabinet in my van I need to unload today. Maybe I'll do a quick video on that um, later today, but I don't think I'll be doing any more videos arcade related because I got to work on the 59 and paint a bumper cover for a Nissan. So if anybody's interested in watching that stuff, uh, you can uh, check out my other channel, which is Troy's Restoration 2.0. 
if anybody's interested in watching it or liking it or subscribing it, that would be awesome. Uh, any questions or comments, feel free to ask. Um, other than that, I will see you guys later.